Besides the Christmas and the birthday, okay. What other holiday do men get? Where they get like Father's Day? <laughs> Very. It all comes back to the type of women that you choose to date and the, how you treat your women in relationship. Is it's a, a difference nothing? between me asking you to do something and you doing something? For exactly. You. I wanna put you in my life forever, forever, forever. Forever, baby, me love when you wind on the pipeline. Mhm, me love the Billy. What is cracking? Hey yo, she don't hey. even get the countdown no more. Hello, hey. Miss Comfortable. Yes. I even go. Off. Um, it's not even comfortable anymore. Like it's 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 home. We're it's here. Right, it's what home. is she going on, beautiful people? You are tuning in to the He Say, She Say podcast, and I am your girl, Chef B. And this is your boy, Alan Poppy, a.k.a. Symbol. Oh, a. Symbol, a.k.a. Alan Poppy. Which one comes first? The I, alias or the I, name? I don't I have no idea, Pooh. All right, That's all so it's your boy, Sim in the building. Mm -hmm. What up, what up, what up? I okay. hope y'all been having a lovely week. Um, If y'all tuning on the YouTube, Check out the hoodies, y'all. Hey, get the if, visuals. Yeah, if if y'all not, yes. if y'all listening, mm -hmm. people on the Instagram page, right? Quick, we got some hoodies with we the, got the merch. We got the we got merch. merch. Okay. Okay. Hey, so, what so is going on? What's going on? First of all, Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. I'm black and, and I'm sisters. proud. I'm black and I'm proud. I love being black. black. Unapologetically black. Black is beautiful. And don't let royal. nobody tell you otherwise. Black mm. is in. Black mm. has always been it's in. It's been in. It's the you thing. Okay. Everything valuable. Mm. Like let them know. Oil, where they get all this money from? Black. We're not going to get much details, but love what? black. <laughs> I don't even know where you were going. <laughs> but yeah. But Happy yeah, black my brothers History and Month. sisters, live it up, celebrate, mm -hmm. you know. And to kick off Black History Month, um, Courtside Karen. Courtside you know? Karen. <laughs> hey yo, don't you love LeBron? I absolutely. I love swear LeBron. to God, LeBron. Matter of fact, let's praise our heroes and give our heroes the flowers while they're alive. Yes, LeBron, LeBron has came his to flowers. the NBA as a child. Mm -hmm. Came okay. straight out of high school. Okay. He's thirty six now. Mm -hmm. Thirty seven. Thirty six. Never once has he made an error doing anything. Well, you can't say that, that you know of. But, LeBron like, in terms of, like, a, I'm not going to let public. you tarnish. Okay. LeBron I has a blemish-free career. I'm just saying. No, I used to be a big-ass Kobe fan, so I hated on LeBron just because. Just for the game, right? But there's no reason to hate on LeBron. Yeah, he, he doesn't, he's but doing book, his thing. Wife, kids, family yeah. man, gives back. You know, he's a model athlete, model role model, if you're looking for one. Mm -hmm. It's just that good. So, yeah. So, the whole situation with Quirkside Karen is like LeBron and the husband. Her husband were yeah, back, and forth, back and forth. Exchange of words. And you know. she felt the need to dip in and call she him on his name. You know what <laughs> she got a word for that check. To call her mask in the heat of the argument. Imagine. And she got kicked out. Got so, kicked. happy and Black true History Karen, to that. In true Karen fashion, mm -hmm. she got kicked out where she was wrong in the first place. Yeah. And then complained about it. Yeah. And like, cried about it. Mm. Anyway, shout mm -hmm. out to LeBron. You did what needed to be done. I don't exactly. know why people come after it, it was a beautiful that. start. Um next, next on the agenda, Chloe Bailey. Yeah, Chloe Bailey. Y'all on the internet made my girl Chloe cry. We're not here for that. We don't no. like that because she was, you if know, you embracing cry, herself. I'm pulling out your glued on eyelashes. Oh my god. So you can uh -huh. cry too. Like, coming yeah. for Chloe like know. that. She ain't did nothing to nobody. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm talking about that video where the girl plucked the eyelashes. Uh, oh, that, oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. That's what I'm going to so do dead. to everybody hating on Chloe. Yeah, so what had happened was, um, you know, Chloe created her own Instagram separate from her sister. You know, their, their own the thing, thing, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she's just embracing herself, body positivity, mm -hmm. just doing her as a 22-year-old. And people on the internet was trying to say she's doing too much, like, projecting their insecurities because this is fine she's young and talented or do and doing her thing like get a hobby and leave girl alone okay mm -hmm. embrace yourself what else happened 
Little Uzi. That's his name, right? Little Uzi. I don't want to talk about I can never pronounce his name properly. I swear he's born at least 2000 or after because he's just different. He's weird. Is he that young? I don't know. He's just weird. But anyway, so he got a 24 um, million infinity stone put into his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it looks like he's trying to look like Vision or something. Trying to be an adventurer or something. Like this man had a whole infinity stone yeah. implanted on his forehead and it was crooked. It's crooked. Yeah, it ain't even oh long, look like he, I don't know. It's just like, I understand you got money, bro. But, but there's dude, 24 million other things you can do. You with could be doing with that, you feel like me? seriously. And then the last thing. Oh, you were gonna say something. Nah, else? Oh, no. Okay. The last thing is um um what would I call this? Gorilla glue gate. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're calling it. Whoa. A young lady on TikTok. Um, disclosed that her hair has been in a slick down, slick down for the gods, permanent slick down for the last month because she ran out of got to be freezing spray and decided to use gorilla glue that is used on wood, on steel, on any type of metal to slick down her hair. Hey yo, word of advice to sis. Go to YouTube, search mm -hmm. Chef B. Let them know. Get okay. your fix, baby. Let them know. I don't, I don't understand. Why would you... You know what? I Do you think it was for clout? For whom? No, I, I could... I wouldn't believe she that. She'll be no. bald in a minute. <laughs> I, I <laughs> she hope she's walk, okay. Nah, like, she medically, walk, she'll be fine. In a I couple, hope that. In a couple days, she's going to be walking around this place looking like Caillou. She's going to be bald as hell. Anyway, so we're going to pray for her. But we're going to move on. Let's go. All right. So... Mm -hmm. Countdown. What's today's day? Today is I do not know. So I'm figuring when is Valentine's Day? Valentine's okay. Day Valentine's is, is on a Sunday. Away. Away. So you can take me to brunch. So it's like a week. It's away. the fifth of while we're recording, it is the fifth, but this video this podcast will be out on the sixth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you got eight days, fellas. Mm -hmm. You got eight, eight days. Eight days for what? What's going to on? plan whatever you gotta plan. Um Surprise who you got to surprise. Find an excuse if you're not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, you just got, oh. you got eight days. Figure it out. Um, first of all, did you always believe in Valentine's Day? Me, personally, um, it's been a rocky road. It's been a mm -hmm. rocky road. Some, rocky sometimes road. I say I don't. Other times I decide to show out and I do. It all depends on... What, back in the day, like who you were with, I how guess, interested yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah, um, I want to say how interesting. It's just like I was going through a phase where it's like, oh my god, story time. No, it, it, it ain't no story right now. It's just like you're going time. through a phase where it's like <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure if Valentine's Day is a real thing or is it's right. just like a money grab. Because oh, I'm showing love all year round. Guys always say that when they're not trying to do anything. Just just say you ain't not into the girl and move on. Don't say it's like a money you're grab not, and a cash you're grab. You're There's a lot born. of holidays <laughs> that are cash grabs. Christmas and, was and if, Jesus you, really born you, on the 25th of December? All the holidays that is. They a, were all created a, a somehow. Exactly. So you can't just say, oh, Valentine's it's, Day is like money more, grabs. Is Valentine's Day important to you? Um, it didn't used to be like I've been in a relationship where like I can't even recall what Valentine's Day was like because oh, wow. dudes just didn't put any effort. It was, you know what I'm saying? So what like, about me? Do I be putting in effort? Oh, you just want me to sing your praise, nah, don't just, you? I just want you you couldn't even allow me to ease into it and just do tell it. the people what you do for me. Like do you, you gotta, you gotta say yep because you know you be doing the thing. Yeah, yes, doing Simba, it. you do, you do your well, thing. Last year you got the chocolate colors. No, that wasn't last year. Boo. That was last year. That was not last year. We did not go to Blue Mountain last year. Oh, la Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. So you there was a year. What I'm talking about? <laughs> it ain't even that important because you can't even remember what was going on. Because you do good things throughout yeah, the year. Yeah, but that's what I'm showing. So it's not I do like, it all year round. Yeah, so it's like, Valentine's Day important. It is. In our relationship, not so much because I feel like we do good things for each other year round. When mm -hmm. it's birthdays, Christmas, we go all out when it comes right. to like days. So it's like Valentine's Day don't stand out that much to me in our relationship because it's like, okay, you do, your thi yeah, you, you do your thing, but it's like it's. It's it's in everything. It's expected mm -hmm. per se for you know. So last year it was like a surprise balloon, heart balloons, 
and chocolate covered strawberries delivered to the host. Chocolate colored strawberries. Yeah, because <laughs> we were at work, so I didn't think we were gonna do anything. And it's like but it, it came delivered to the house. I was so I'll always surprised. Always deliver when I'm there. Yeah, I was. I was no. shocked. And then the year before that, we went to Blue Mountain, and you surprised me. We even had a vlog that, on that. That was that was my favorite Valentine. You day. put you put the the iconic um um Little rose candles the roses inside. all over the mm-hmm. floor, the mm-hmm. candles and the, the chocolate. You you did you did inside. yeah. That was that was a highlight for me. Like the for best me. thing ever. Right. So, yeah. And for me, that was like my favorite Valentine's Day because he was out in Blue Mountain. Yeah, that was fun. My you black skied. ass was skiing for the first time. <laughs> Ski I still while don't black. know how to stop while skiing, oh, but you I have so fun. so many times. You know, so that was my most memorable Valentine. That was a good time. And with that, I feel like it was my most f- memorable Valentine's oh, Day because, because finally, the guy... Got something for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, because that was my treat to you. Yeah, because, I mean, it's like, usually... Because he always wanted to speak to him, so it's like... Usually, the guy is the forgotten person on Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Wrap it, wrap it. Do you agree or you disagree? I agree. Because Valentine's Day, like, what the media projected to be is about the female, about the women. It's supposed to be about, like, what we grew up with. Mm -hmm. It's like the men are supposed to cater to the woman. Right. On this special day. 2021, actually. You know, the the, the times have changed. We have women (laughs) in the White House. So, women should, you know, be shutting off Valentine's Day now. Shake the table a little bit. Shake the table. I, but... You know how I do. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't spare nothing when it comes to expressing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this, this is different. You can't group me in all of that because, you know, I am different. As a woman, would you feel a way if your partner, like, you're super into Valentine's Day. Yeah. But your partner pulls up and say, hey, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I need to know why. It's okay not to celebrate a holiday. People Mm -hmm. don't celebrate different holidays, but it's like. In the back of my head, as I said earlier, if it's like you're saying, oh, capitalism, I'm going to feel like you're bullshitting me because we celebrate a lot of ho- uh, other holidays that are cash grabs. You know what I'm saying? So if you give me a valid reason, like, you, I don't know. I don't even know what would be a valid reason. For me, personally, a lot of women don't even like Valentine's Day like that. But for me... I like I like I like holidays. You know I like different yeah, types of holidays. Like, like the holidays. So you'd have to come with something real good, and I can't even think on the top of my head what kind of excuse you'd give me <laughs> for not wanting to shower me with niceness and okay. I do the same. Okay. So what about you? It is it is a yes. Yes. You yes. Go yes. <laughs> um, me personally, I tend to go by the mantra that goes "Happy wife, happy life." Exactly. You no, know, I just I just prefer the simplicity in life, and it's not going to take the shirt off my back to make sure that you enjoy it. Exactly. Day. It doesn't have to like, be anything extravagant. You, know, it, you call up your local fruit basket people, you'd be like, hey, yo, this is that dress. You do it at this time, blah, blah, blah. The simple like, things. Oh, baby, you yes. thought of me. Meanwhile, it just costs you $50 and she loves you. That's it. That's no. it. Cook cook dinner. Something simple. I'm always cooking dinner. No, no, I'm not talking for you. But I'm I, talking about yeah, like... So, yeah. If your partner is showing love every day, like it's a regular occurrence, yeah, you get random flowers every now and again, random chocolates now and again, mm-hmm. you get nice pretty dates now and again, mm-hmm. and he said, and he just like completely skips, forgets about Valentine's Day. Oh, hi. Is, is that an issue? Yes. Cause would you what, be upset? I would be upset because it's like, Here why? Here goes the irrational woman. No, it's not nothing be irrational. Like I say, do it every day. So why this day you so choose not to do it? does it, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Valentine's Day falls on the Thursday. It just seems, it just seems. It's not enough. It, I'm not saying it's not enough, but, but it's like why? It just I don't know. It's just why you skip the day. Like okay. if you do it every day, like okay, okay, this day you can do it too. Like because, what? Is, okay, all right, cool. What do you do differently for the man on Valentine's Day than every other day? I'm gonna give him some. I'm joking. <laughs> I was hoping you say <laughs> I know you were hoping I was hoping like, you say Because that's what a lot of women do. It's like, oh, your is not a gift. Your chinchin is not a gift for Valentine's Day. It ain't, it ain't wrapped up in a pretty little box. I was joking, it by the way. It hardly comes with a bow tie. 
It comes with a bow tie. Well, you could have a bow tie right, on it, depending on you know what you're trying to do. <laughs> Get a real present, but like. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that is why men tend to avoid joking, and but not it's, celebrate yeah. Valentine's Day. Why? Because Simply it's like because all it's just a it's just a take and not a give back. For example, my favorite Valentine's Day was when I actually got to do something because of with me. You on Valentine's Day. Yeah, right? because you know I'm that type of person. But I'm like. I like that. Nine out of ten times, you not. What? Who's nine out of ten times, the average man is not gonna get everything from anything on Valentine's Day, but he gotta give, 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 give. I'm more than sure us brothers would be willing to partake and indulge in all the festivities of Valentine's Day if it was some sort of not even equal return, mm -hmm. but if it's like a you give and you take type situation right. going on. Okay, but I'm going to stop fronting because I was just joking about that. You get some, nah, you know? You get that good, good. But I know it's a real thing. That's why I said it to, like, feed into the argument that I know you were going to go in just now. But on the real, for me, mm -hmm. you know me. So it's like, it depends on the type of women that you date, the type of women that you marry. So if it is that... From the beginning, or if you know this person to be a gift giver or to see a thoughtful woman, because if she sees that you cater to her year round or you cater to each other, you will expect that your your woman, if you guys have plans together, she will do something for you. So you know the type of person I am. You know that it's a with us it's like a it's like a on holidays it's a it's a big thing for us. For me to give you something, you to give me something, and we just go all out. So you expected, honestly, you're expecting the honestly, good stuff. So it I'm has gonna, to do with the type of women I'm put you, you date. Something right now. What? Every holiday, every occasion, every birthday. I'm tr I'm know you're coming hard, so I'm trying. You're to trying to we like, we I'll try to outdo <laughs> each I'm other. I'm trying to outdo you every. Yeah, time. you're like, oh, you're trying to you're trying to get me that design. I'm gonna get you a designer too. Like you know, we go we go uh, back. Uh, for, I'm going, I'm going to match thing. the energy. We'll match and the it. Thing, and the thing is, sometimes, because it's like, you're a gift giver. Exactly. I'm going to put a ton of thought into this thing. Oh, so yeah, it's, like, that's it's like, yeah, for your birthday, I threw you a party, a surprise party mm -hmm. with your closest friend. Like, that could have been there. You're, you're the more ones of a thought first. thought in, came in with a, like, a video. They sent in their yeah, videos, birthday you. wishes, Zoom, <laughs> right? I could have said, that here's a gift and that'd be the end of it. But mm -hmm. you were not expecting when you walk in, you're going to see a surprise, because, a yeah. video with your friends. You're, like, I tracked down every one yeah, of our closest friends. Still. She didn't even she didn't even know I got these people's <laughs> number and I'm keeping it tight, lip quiet. Put together a whole slideshow, wishes and everything. And she's like, wow. Yeah, because you are the more thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And I can say this wholeheartedly. You're the yeah, more, you're, oh God. Thoughtful so and romantic. You're the romantic one in the relationship, mm -hmm. which is different. I'm not, I'm romantic, but I'm not overly romantic like that. Like, it's just, it's just from, you know, past experience, all of that. Like, it, it, it's, it's something that I'm trying to work on. Mm -hmm. So I'm more of the, the gift, like throw money at it type of thing for mm -hmm. me. You are more like, okay, I'm going to outdo you, but then I'm going to add this extra layer of, of, of mm, thought. Yeah, and I don't want to take you gotta, you gotta I do, to pull You got to do a bunch straight. of things. I so it's like, oh, here we go. No, I'm going to like, I feel like I got to do something bigger than I did <laughs> before type of thing. So it has to do with the type of women you date. So men, if you want someone to show you appreciation on those special days like valentine's day where you're giving and she's giving you gotta make sure that you are with the right one and also that you deserve it because you are not entitled to anything unless you deserve it period anyway am i wrong all right this this is i wanna i wanna i wanna touch on this touch on what no. <laughs> i want to touch on this a little bit before I I tend to hop in the podcast topics, I like to ask, I like to talk to the homies. To the homies. And one of the homies said one of the reasons why he's never really into Valentine's Day. Oh, you did a you did a. Question? It's because yeah, it's because the woman tends to nag him into doing something rather than letting him do it off his own free will. Do okay. you think that's a problem? Do you think that's a real thing? 
Like, yeah, you have like it's women like it's like will... think about it this way. Chef, do the dishes. Chef, do the dishes. Chef, do the. You don't want to do the dishes. Give me a because... different. Give, give me a different example on that. Sir. Right. Oh, I don't know. It's like you're gonna do something, mm-hmm. but but if, if you're gonna do it regardless, to do it, then, like, th- then what's the I problem? I don't want to do it now. But if you you already plan to do it, like I feel like them not giving you a boat, it shouldn't even just like be the, that big of an issue. Line. The motive, yeah, still, if you had a motive before, it only, I only feel like that um, is an issue if you didn't intend to do anything at all. But if it is that you intended to do something anyways, them nagging you about it shouldn't be that big of a deal. You understand what I'm saying? So it's okay to nag. Okay. It, about, people nag sometimes just okay, to make. This. I'm about to dive deep into the oh woman's brain right now. Oh I'm going to ask some questions. I'm trying ask to see me, what your psychology away. like. Ask me your right. way. <laughs> if a man plans like. you the most romantic Valentine's Day from start to finish, mm-hmm. but he tells you not to post anything on social media, any part of it. This is my is thing. It still spe- is it still special to you? It's still special, but why can't no, I uh, post uh, it if <laughs> I'm, I'm a poster? If I'm somebody that because posts he just, stuff. Because he just wants you to... Enjoy I am moment. enjoying no it. No phones, no cameras, nothing. Just, just live in the moment. If it, if it is that you just want me to live in the moment, fine. But if it is that, if it, I'm thinking of, in that moment, I took pictures, all of that. Then after the day is finished, you told me not to post any pictures. I'm going to be like, yeah, he tells you from what? the start. From the start, just no post no, no pictures. pictures just us. Just okay, I don't have an issue with that. Have an issue with no, that? it's fine. But mm-hmm. if it is that we were already in the moment, I took pictures of maybe my food or us holding hands or some ish like that. And then you're like, oh, can you not post it? Now I'm going to think there's something. Think he's high yes. Or yes. Ugh. Unless we don't have that type of relationship where we don't post each other, then that's fine. But if it is that we do, people like, we post each other. Yeah, yeah people, people be doing that Why still. Like, like, <laughs> you must you be a ghost. I don't like a ghost. Like, what? Like, no, that, that's a real thing. Still, but, anyways, that's a different stuff. topic. That, <laughs> that is a whole different topic we have to touch on. But, anyway, okay. yeah, but. Yeah. If you said it from the beginning, like, we were just want us to be in this moment, to just enjoy each other's company, like, no social media, no nothing. Don't even say no social media, just say no phones, I'll understand that. And then I could live with that. Okay. That's good. Right. Now, yeah. another question for the women. Okay. Why do women feel the need just to show up on Valentine's Day? Just to show just up? Just to show up. I, I can't I can't speak for other women. I'm just no, <laughs> your girlfriend, your girlfriend. I mean, some Tom, women Tom, feel Tom. like as they should should be pampered. It's a but mindset it's that no, but high. that's what I'm saying. Like for them, some mm. women, it's a mindset that the men should pamper them to the fullest. They should be spoiled and all of that, and full stop. That's it. Okay. They have some women, so I'm gonna speak for myself because I'm in that other some percentage that believe that I should be pampered but then I'm a pamper you so you treat me like a queen you definitely get that full king treatment no holding back okay that's for me I want you to do something right now okay right I'm kind of scared besides (laughs) besides the Christmas and the birthday okay what other holiday do men get when they get like Father's Day (laughs) really Oh, you get you get sports holidays. You get good treatment on sports sports, 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 sports what, day, what like sports All Star Weekend, and them stuff. What, what do you get? You get to go away and do whatever you want to do. Sit down, watch the TV in the living room. Yeah, yeah, but you no, okay. it's not just that. Some get, guys get, get to look, go look, away for going away time. New Year's Eve is for women. Um, no, it's nah, not. It's for you, both of us. It's not even a holiday for me. You got Valentine's. You got National Girlfriend's Day. You got National Boyfriend Day. I've never heard of National Boyfriend's Day. That's ever. a thing. I wouldn't know. So you need to come good this year then to make uh-uh. you feel it. Right? So you get New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, National Girlfriend's Day. You what get the that? one month anniversary, the six month anniversary, um, you the get one year anniversary. Hold up, I'm still going. Okay. You get your birthday. You get Christmas. I can't relate to any of this because no holiday except for like when the holiday is dedicated to me, like say my birthday. Do I, I'm selfish with any other holiday. Like, as I said, it all comes back to the type of women that you choose to date and the, how you treat your women in relationship. But I mean, I feel like the reason why fellas may not speak up on being wanted to be spoiled on Valentine's That's Day their business. Is because it's like, <laughs> if I... 
you it's, know a, it's a difference good. between me asking you to do something and you doing something for exactly me. You know so, I mean? so it's like if i say babe i want to be spelled on valentine's day and then you do it you don't need it to doesn't say have it. the same impact as if you decided to do something for valentine's if day. you know the person that you're dating there w- won't be any need to say anything or to nag if you know the person you're dating you know the person that you're dating so it's like you you kind of not to say oh your expectations but it's like you have your own expectations of this person mm-hmm. of the holiday holiday or no holiday it's who you date it's what do you know about this person is this a caring person a person that um pampers you is this a person that cares about you to a level because a lot of people in a relationship and i really don't care for the person right, like fellas, point blank period this is the year we do put you no like foot the down. person we're gonna put our foot down who is we? You're not in we that want, collective. You be pampered too. We want Valentine's Day. <laughs> we want to be recognized on National Boyfriend's Day. That's so we cheesy. We want to be recognized to the fathers, the good fathers, the ones that's being that's there doing your the thing. thing. You, no kids. you want to be recognized on Father's <laughs> Day. And we going to demand our one month and six month anniversary presents too. We going to demand we don't, this year. We don't even know <laughs> when our exact date for. Because we don't it. even celebrate that age. The only time we're celebrating any type of old anniversary is when we're married. Period. Okay, we're not doing any boyfriend, girlfriend, See, don't know anniversary, anniversary type is. ish. We've never done that before. Have we? We've you never done that. Is. I don't know. You don't know. We, it just happened. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Something just happened, True. and that's fun, it. Fun fact: It, it really just as happened. I said, the that's only crazy. we gotta go back. We gotta like. Go I even back care about that. The only out. dates that no, because how we yeah, gonna I'm actually sure. be able to tell like you know when we actually got we know the first kiss, we know the first everything else. We just don't know. When we just we, don't know when we officially that's fine. Did that thing, and that's, that's fine. fine. Like we here right. now, so water so, under the bridge. What advice would you give the ladies? If they need some advice for Valentine's Day, they're struggling to give a good gift or figure out ideas of stuff that he might like or may not like. What um, do you tell them? What are some signs they can look for to deliver on this day? For me, like I just said, like for me, it wasn't about the gift on Valentine's Day. It was the activity. You are an activity person, mm-hmm. not necessarily a gift all the time. Unless you you, know, you, you give me, a hint. You put me outdoors. And yeah, like in the bush trees in the you bush. Yeah, hours. bush man, you love the bush. <laughs> you put me out there for six hours. Simba just likes to be in the dirt. I'll bring back six animals. Oh my god! Two will be tamed. You got some goats like, and chickens. Like, I'm some just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I like nature. So yeah, you put me out you're there. a bush man. So for for me, or my advice is to see what the person like. Are they more of a materialistic person? Are they more like? They want to do something. It's a thoughtfulness, their thing. So after you figure that out, like you literally can pick up hints of what could be real nice. So it is that this person cater to you year round. Like to say Simba cooks for me. Major, I wouldn't say even some majority of the time, but Simba does cook a lot for me. I cook a, I, I cook a lot too. So it's yeah, like majority yeah, of the time. Yeah. But, <laughs> so it. it could be like he caters to me that way year round. How about on this holiday, I do a little catering to you type thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if, for me, it was that you like the outdoor stuff. None of us have been skiing up until that point. So it was like, let's do a getaway where it's like, you get to ski. You get to do all these different activities that I know you've always wanted to do. So, so that was my Valentine's Day gift to you because that's something I knew you would enjoy. It didn't have to be a gift. So that is a thing. Look what the person wants, and also don't be giving no man no king treatment if he hasn't been giving you that know, queen see, treatment. This is, this is, this is what here, happens. Bro. I did not, I, you see, this is why men can't uh-uh, but it's impo- That is no, very stop, important. Stop, stop. Nuh-uh, I'm not taking it back. I'm not taking it back. This is why. I'm not taking it back. This is why. This is why men can't. You know what things. I realize? You this talked is, about all the things that um women that women um not paying attention to, like the guys doing. All the good stuff, but you also have to recognize that there's a lot of men out there that don't do squat for their women, okay? And you have women out there that wait on their men hand and foot. Okay. And Valentine's Day, they okay. might be the ones giving the gift. No, okay, so I'm, say, okay, so I'm speaking say, on it speak. now. I'm speaking on it now, but because you said, oh, there I go, there I go. So I'm speaking for those women 
right now. You mm-hmm. have men out there that don't do squat. But expect go the treatment, the, the, good the, the, treatment. the good treatment. Uh-uh, I gotta, I gotta speak. No, I gotta speak for the queens. I gotta let them know. It's real out here. Don't be giving these men nothing if they don't deserve. No, yes. Every day, wake up. My Jamaican can I come up with it. Okay? If they're not treat you and give it a queen treatment, you, you can't expect anything. So you have okay. women out there that be doing the stuff for their men and the men don't do nothing. Just some brokies just living whatless. No, some of them them yeah, living whatless. Or if some of them got money. Care. Okay, some of them got money but real selfish with being it. Being broke doesn't mean doesn't care. Being broke doesn't mean okay. can't. Okay, but you have some men that broke and not do nothing. Them broke and them not even say, okay, I got the money, so I'm gonna put some thought into it. Some of them just work list. You have men yeah. out there, I have women pampering those men. Let him go, he's a dead weight. He ain't deserve nothing on Valentine's Day. Period. Full stop. Bye. Are you okay? No. <laughs> do you want to talk about it? Uh uh-uh, uh, I got experiences out here. Okay, I got talk about it. I got some trauma, okay? I got uh, some trauma. Apparently, <laughs> do you, you want to talk about uh-uh, it? Uh uh-uh, uh, no, but you got men out there. That women be giving gifts to. And they ain't got nothing in return. But that's the past. Okay, we move on. And you got some men that actually out there that's good that treat you like a I want you to I want you to clench. (laughs) Let that hurt go. I want you to clench your fist. Now open it. Let that hurt go. (laughs) Shut up. All right. Okay, I'm I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Ooh, that was Mm -hmm. that was deep. Mm -hmm. Right, your turn to ask me advice. I got none of that. Advice. <laughs> what, what advice would you give to men hey, yo, fellas, that feel like they aren't being I mean, fairly treated? No, I'm give them advice on what to do for the women. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, fellas. Uh, like I said, women, they usually show you stuff they like. Mm-hmm. They always do it subconsciously. Babe, do you think this bag will look good on me. This shirt will look good on me. They always do that type of stuff. Uh, pay attention. Mm-hmm. Read the signs. Um, they're easy to figure out. You can't ever go around with chocolates. Like, literally, it's a so Valentine's like Day. It's a Valentine Valentine's <laughs> Day Valentine's guide for Dunny. Bruh, <laughs> it's a Valentine's Day well, guide said, times for are dummies, times. Right? Valentine's <laughs> Day guide for dummies. Uh-uh. The chocolate colored strawberries. Chocolate colored or colored? Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure you're seeing what you're you saying. You're going to piss me off. <laughs> you got the chocolate covered strawberries. Uh-huh. You got flowers. You got. Cho- what? Did I say chocolate already? You, yes, and a lot of women you don't know, like chocolate. They like, they like going out to eat. None of the ten times you can't go wrong with taking a woman out to don't eat. Don't take me out on a dinner. That's so basic. Yeah, like, but don't you like that. foods. And don't so. give no woman no chocolate if you know she ain't like no chocolate. Because that would just be redundant and stupid. Hey, yo. Don't this. do all that. So, but she ain't like fruits. Huh? She ain't like fruits. So that's why. Huh? A lot of people don't like strawberries. Well, and it's so, it's, it's so basic. That comes like y'all There's say. no thought in generic Valentine's Day type situation like you can't give me chocolate covered strawberries this year because you did that two years in a row <laughs> hey yo no you do all of that now you gotta come with no, something no, 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 different no, 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 no. Okay. it was two different things you came into a room with the ambiance set okay with flowers candles champagne and chocolate we had a good dinner too mm-hmm. right that was Last year, that was nice i had to work yeah. So and you delivered me something had delivered. That deliver. was thoughtful. What Thank did you, you do last year? Um Exactly. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. So you gotta do isn't even that important oh, anyway. Oh no it is. You, you hear this? You hear this? Alright, cool. You done one year, so you gotta double up this year. I, just sure I didn't even know. know we were doing stuff on Valentine's Day. Like, I thought it goes I love you ce- year we round. celebrate all the holidays. Is someone <laughs> going back against their work? No, I'm not back. I'm glad we come out to see this. You're full of it. You're annoying. You just be out here capping up. Huh? Yeah, basically. <laughs> all right, but listen, if you got a partner or if you're selling Valentine, celebrating Valentine's Day alone, Love yourself. You give you give a gift to yourself. Yes. Ooh, then, yes. So my single ladies you know what? out there. Here's a perfect Treat gift. If you're single friends. and you want to gift yourself something on Valentine's Day, 
pre-order a hoodie. We're doing pre-orders up now? I mean, I guess. Okay. Pre-order a hoodie. Go on YouTube and see the hoodies that we're wearing in the visuals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, um, that is it for this week's episode. Of the He Say She Say podcast. Love you guys. Happy Yay. Valentine's Day. Happy Black History Month. Show out, show love, and stay blessed. Yes. See y'all in the next one. Forever. Baby, me love when you wind on the pipeline. Mm-hmm. Me lady, believe me, me love you, me lifeline. Mm-hmm.